well. I was an avid reader as a child and read just about everything, but um, one of my favorites was Ellen Montgomery and uh, particularly the Emily of New Moon stories because uh, she wanted to be a writer when she grew up, so I really connected with that. Um, probably the first woman writer who inspired me would have been Laura Ingalls Wilder because I loved the Little House on the Prairies books so much and they've stuck in my head to this day all of the little details about the the whatnot shelf and the china shepherdess and making a football out of a pig's bladder um, the kind of like how-to books set on the prairie and they really um, sparked my imagination when i was a child i was madly in love with judy bloom books also an author named Bernice Thurman Hunter who wrote the bookie series set in Toronto which I still have these old old books that I read over and over and over again they're falling apart. Uh, the first woman writer who inspired me was Doris Lessing and um, I guess I was about 19 or so when I read The Golden Notebook and up until that time, I'd been keeping a journal, but it was really just a diary, a one page a day sort of thing. And, and I read The Golden Notebook, which you know, blew my mind because it was so powerful. The writing was so powerful and she was so strong. And I thought, okay, I can write a journal. I have to say, even though I know it's a cliche to be a female Canadian writer with a book of short stories coming out, that it is Alice Munro. It was Alice Munro. I remember reading Moons of Jupiter when I was, oh God, probably about 17 years old. It was for a college lit class and just thinking I had never read anything like that before. Mm -hmm. 